Zack Snyder's follow, well, it's not really his follow up to the DCEU because he did uh, Army of the Dead, which I had fun with. I had fun with Army of the Dead. I didn't think it was awesome, but I, I had a good time watching that movie. It's no Man of Steel, but it was pretty good. Well, then he signed this big deal with Netflix, Zack Snyder did, to do Rebel Moon. Mm -hmm. And with high anticipation, the first Rebel Moon came out. What was it called? Rebel uh, Moon? Child something. Child of Michael Jackson. I don't know. Okay. Is it child, <laughs> child of the Stars or? Child of Fire. Fire. Child of Fire? Is that what it called? Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Movie <laughs> sucked. I mean, it, 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 listen, it, it, it's not no ambiguity here. It straight up sucked. It, and it wasn't as bad maybe as Madam Web, but that's not exactly the bar you're <laughs> aspiring to, is it? So here's the thing. I have, I am a big Zack Snyder fan. Up until Rebel Moon, I have liked or loved every single one of his films with the only exception being Sucker Punch. Right, Sucker Punch is the only film on Zack Snyder's filmography that I didn't like. His, of course, pivotal, awesome, most underrated comic book movie of all time. Mm -hmm. Man of Steel, I will always be in his debt for making that. I love that movie passionately. Obviously, 300 and, and, and others, right? Yep. But Rebel Moon was terrible. It was badly written. Uh, some of the action, you know, a lot of people dogged on the action of the movie. I will actually say that, yeah. to me, was one of the redeeming factors of the movie. I thought the action wasn't that bad. I thought the action was okay. Anyway. But you overall, would hope that would be good, though. Yeah. Terrible movie. I think it had like a 21% on Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> and even the audience score, which you know always slants way positive with TV, stuff on TV, because they don't have to verify it. Even there, it had a, a Rotten score. Higher than the critic score, but it was still considered rotten. 21%, 58%. 58%. Audience. Right? Yep. Well, now we got Scar of the Face. No, what's it called? Rebel Moon? The Scar Giver. The, <laughs> the Scar Giver. I was going to say the Child of Scar. The Scar Giver. Yeah. It's a crossover with Lion King. Yes. The Scar Giver trailer has released, and it's a trailer. It's definitely a trailer. Look, I'll, I'll say this. <laughs> I've read some people online already saying that the action in it looks terrible. I saw one person saying it's like a, it's like when the hand-to-hand -hand combat is like watching dance moves. They're going one, two, three, one, two, three, uh -huh. one, two, three, kick. And you know what? I don't disagree with that, but I felt like the action in the trailer for the first movie kind of looked the same. But then when you saw it in the movie, it actually worked a lot better for me in the movie. So I'm not worried about how the action looked in the trailer because I, I think the action looked great, great in the first trailer for the first movie, but I ended up liking the action in the movie overall. So I'm not worried about that. Horrible music choice for the trailer. This trailer should have this epic orchestral score to it vroom, vroom, like something grand instead it's playing this awful music that's going with it that doesn't look too good not a lot of dialogue other than hearing anthony hopkins saying you can't win boy we've never heard that line before and i have no option but to fight okay all right uh, i do want to see the robot fight yeah but they should have saved that i i must fight thing like that would have been a really yeah. cool if they say they didn't show that much and yeah, maybe yeah, they should have saved that. What was what was the 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 droid's name in Rogue Rogue One? K two S O. Dude, that's their K two S O. All I could think was K two S O. K two S O is one of my favorite movie robots of all yeah, time. Yeah, man. I cannot wait for him to come back in Andor season two. The problem is they're copying it. <laughs> anyway, um, the trailer, not good, not terrible. I, you know, the the action, whatever we've discussed that the music, bad choice of the music. Not a lot of dialogue. If you had a nickel for every time they said Scar Giver, you'd probably have enough for a McDonald's lunch. <clears throat> Scar Giver. Scar Giver. Scar Giver. Scar Giver. I hear you, the Scar Giver. Um, Scar Giver. But you know what? <laughs> Scar Giver. <laughs> I don't think it was a terrible trailer. Muttley. <laughs> I am not looking forward to this movie, though. Like, the first one was awful. So I, I, I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully, it'll be a step up and improvement over the last one. Guys, we want to thank a sponsor of today's video, BetterHelp. 
guys, it's a brand new year and a lot of people are making New Year's resolutions, you know, things they want to change about themselves. But I've always believed that it's also equally as important to identify the things we're doing well and building on those. And therapy helps you find your strengths so you can ditch the extreme resolutions and make changes that really stick. I've always believed that nothing impacts our daily performance in our jobs, our hobbies, our relationships, like our mental health. And I've also said for a long time that it's about time that we stop just putting emphasis on improving our physical health by getting out to the gym, but also by putting emphasis on improving our mental health as well. So if you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. All you gotta do is fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. So guys, celebrate the progress you've already made. Visit betterhelp.com slash campia today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash campia. Rob, it's been a while since we talked about been a while. Um, Child of the Star. Yeah, for good what's, what's it called again? Child, a child of, child of Fire. A child it's been a while fire. since we talked about the first Rebel Moon. Um, again, what were your thoughts on that one? And then does this trailer do, do anything to move the needle for you for this new one? Coming out in just a couple of weeks, mid-April. Uh -huh. April 15th. Uh, I, I found the first Rebel Moon nigh unwatchable. Uh, it was, I did not enjoy it at all. But I will say this, John, watching the trailer here with Ray, listening to that music, I, I dare say I thought it was metal. <laughs> I thought it was metal, dude. It like, I was like, angry. Kind of like when it. I saw, yeah, it was like that angry, like, man, it's, it's Molly Hatchet, Death Dealer album cover. Yeah. I mean, you know, so from that perspective, uh, because, you know, Zach, no one does metal better than Zack Snyder. What Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice is metal. Zack Snyder's Justice League is metal. And I like it when he goes full metal, just not when he goes full metal and stupid. You know, and that's my problem. Is that is Oh that, my god, that would be a great name for a like a mockumentary. Full, full metal, metal and, and stupid. Full metal and stupid. Yeah, you, you can't I don't want that. I want full metal and awesome. Because full metal is awesome. I'm not necessarily talking, you don't have to do Enter Sandman. You know, and uh, you don't have to do like Quiet Riot either. Right. I mean, I want something I that is, riot. you know, give me something in between. <laughs> I mean, but so look, <laughs> so I, I, I just look at this and I, I'm like, how many, how many things from other movies do I have to see put in this trailer? And why, when a robot decides to go all out, why do they always? Why do their lights always turn red? <laughs> like I, I'm, I'm that's tired, in the rule books. I I'm think tired of the put that I'm in the rule book. Shortcut. It's that's like how you know they had enough. Red light, green light. I mean, give me turn purple. Dude, that's or how turn you know. auburn or yeah, turn right, something. They don't have eyebrows like we do to show anger. I, they got to do I, something. I, that's I, how I you know. know they've had enough. You know, I mean, at <laughs> least like I, if you're gonna go metal, at least give me Tina Guo giving you a metal theme song. <laughs> I mean, yes. You know what? I'm going to yes. recut this trailer to Twisted Scissors. We're not going to take it. I mean, probably you might be as well. Because here's the thing, John. In whatever galaxy Rebel Moon takes place in, they do not have the same kind of heavy metal music that we have here on Earth. And so when you see it in a trailer, you've got to give something that's more universal, like symphonic music, like you said. I mean, I'm like, this is too Earthbound. Give me something weird and otherworldly that I wouldn't hear on the radio if I was listening to radio anymore. You know, I want to see... But I have to tell you this. To me, I saw this trailer, and I was like, all right, I'll watch. I wasn't going to watch. But this trailer made me, I'll watch it. Okay, so you're like me. It's it's not bad. No, right? actually, the way it was cut, the imagery in it, like I said, it was metal. Each individual image and the way they juxtapose, I'm like, okay, you've got infantry fighting with laser guns on the ground. You've got a, a Star Destroyer, or oh, pardon me, the, the, the triangular Star Destroyer is that black, wasn't that Thrawn's? Whose Star Destroyer was that in the books? The Super Star Destroyer? The Super Star Destroyer, but with the front Cobra head thing i forget they've stole that and when it's falling out of the sky oh they're doing the same oh, falling out of that, the sky they did in return of the jedi that, with the star to start coming down yeah. that was the that was the comic version where luke goes to the dark side yeah 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 like dark was it from dark empire dark was empire that, yeah which you can yeah. get you can get mold king uh lego set of that i don't know whatever <laughs> <laughs> that's also that's what you put on the poster i don't know rebel whatever. moon to the scar giver I don't, I don't know, know whatever. whatever. Robert Meyer I mean, Burnett on the The thing John is, David the thing show. is, I will watch it. It made me want to tune in. Okay. <laughs> All right. High praise.
Guys, question is for you. Are you as excited for Rebel Moon Part 2 as Robert Meyer Burnett is? Um, maybe, listen, we've seen, maybe this could be the next Rush Hour. I hated the first one. Absolutely loved the second one. Yeah. So maybe that's going to be this. Whatever you guys think, jump down to the <laughs> comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campy Show podcast available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.